What's up guys and welcome to another video where we are going to be looking over a celebrity's car collection. Now we recently covered Michael Jordan and you are many to put in the comments LeBron James. So that is exactly who we're going to look at today. A man who needs no introduction, one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He has a net worth of around 500, well estimated at around $500 million. And he seems to have a little thing for cars. He enjoys his cars. So guys, before we get into his own private collection, just to remind you the way these videos work is after every video, we ask you to comment down below your celebrity that you would like us to cover in next week's video. And we take the most recurring name and focus next week's subject on that person. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Anyways, let's get right into it. LeBron James, his first car on the list is a 1975 Chevrolet Impala which has been heavily modified modernized in a pretty bright color and uh, he's rumored to have quite a few of these kind of classic American modified uh, cars now he loves cars he's got quite a few but he's fairly secretive with them there's no posting on Instagram which is where we usually find information on celebrities cars often so here we're kind of just doing with slightly older photos uh, which is when photos of him in his cars are coming out more today it's hard to know exactly what sits in this collection but this is one that he reportedly still has one which we're not so sure about is his Chevrolet Camaro SS which is actually in a fairly bold spec white on white look pretty cool when this thing came out it was a really futuristic car which kind of brought the fight to the Ford Mustang along with the Dodge Challenger which LeBron James actually also owns they were two cars that kind of challenged as the name indicates of the Dodge the Ford Mustang and did a pretty good job at it but clearly LeBron James wanted to add a little bit of his own touch to the cars now three American cars clearly likes his American cars very patriotic um, and was seen driving these around quite a bit when he was a little younger one of his first exotic supercars was of course a Ferrari he had it fitted to himself as he's obviously extremely tall he had to have the car slightly modified so that he could fit in it it's a Ferrari F430 Spider, so naturally aspirated V8, just under 500 horsepower. Awesome looking car, it's got modified rims which match the gray paint color. And inside it's got the Daytona finished seats uh, in red leather. So really, really cool looking spec. But it is an issue that someone like LeBron James has to deal with, is you can't fit in every car. So Lamborghini Aventadors, for example, one of which he also owns, it'll be on screen right now, in a pretty wacky color spec, um, which was present at an event where he went. Uh, but reportedly is his own personal car, but he struggles to fit inside it. And Lamborghini Ventadors is a car that's notorious, A, for being the successful athlete's kind of car. It looks incredible, everyone knows what it is, and it's a real statement, but there's not too much room in the cabin. So a lot of people struggle getting in and out and even just keeping their head inside uh, the car. So look, this didn't stop LeBron from getting one, still has one in his collection, but clearly seeing what he's done to the exterior of the car uses it as more of a, an art piece than a car he'll drive around in. One car which is probably better fit to him is the Hummer H2. It's been seen uh, actually with a couple of these a car that he would take to training often, but obviously massive car, Hummer, originally developed for army purposes, the Hummer H1, which was an absolute animal, even bigger than the H2, but the H2 was obviously a more road-going version, uh, which LeBron seemed to really enjoy because he had, we could count two, but he probably had a few more than those. Another personal favorite of LeBron's seems to be the Mercedes S600 Maybach, with the twin turbocharged V12, Maybach obviously being a brand, its own brand back in the day, and then it got bought by Mercedes, uh, and is now kind of a trim level for the most luxurious Mercedes. So the S600 Maybach is based, based on the Mercedes S-Class, uh, but has been extended and made a lot more luxurious in the interior. And LeBron James has had a white one driving around quite a bit, and it kind of seems like whenever he's traveling, he'll always have a Mercedes S600 Maybach with him, which makes sense because of his size. He can sit in the back of that, get driven around, and he's got plenty of leg room, and he's, he's chilling. Porsche 911 Turbo S, it's uh, kind of the most usable yet sporty 911 you can get. Uh, Turbo S, so Turbo is now also for Porsche a trim level. A lot of the 911s now all have turbos, so the name doesn't only just 
uh, correlate to if the car has turbos or not. Today, most 911s will have a turbo regardless, so the turbo name is more of a trim level, which shows that it's the highest level you can basically get, the most expensive in the 911 range. So the Turbo S, his is a 997.2, so it's not the latest generation. Uh, this video isn't particularly modern either, so maybe he's updated, but we haven't uh, seen any photos of him in a newer 911. His really nice spec, convertible with the translucent lights in the back. Uh, you can tell that him and some mates are driving around in it and look pretty massive in this thing. Double clutch gearbox, awesome, awesome uh, looking car, but also great to drive. And I think it actually suits him pretty well. So taking that to training would be pretty cool. I don't know if he's had it extended or not. They're known to be fairly practical. So I don't think he maybe necessarily had to, but awesome to see him with a Porsche in the collection. Now last, but very far from being the least is his Ferrari 458 Spider, one of my personal favorite cars. His is in a really cool uh, spec well wrap it's a chrome red wrap and he's got black wheels on it it's been slightly modified v8 uh, close to 600 horsepower naturally aspirated double clutch on these and it's one of the most recent videos and one of the most recent cars that we've seen him driving around and there's a video of him driving around there's also a Range Rover autobiography driving around everywhere with him, which we believe is also his, which he has, a, you know, his security or his trainer or someone following him when he's driving his Ferrari around. But the 458 Spider, absolute legend of a car, and will go down in history as one of the all-time greats, I believe, uh, for Ferrari. So seeing him having one of those and then also adding his own personal touch to it is really, really cool. So clearly he quite enjoys his Ferraris. Not sure again if he had to have this one extended to fit in it. But very hard to find footage actually of LeBron's car collection. This is what we could find confirmed were his. There were photos to support it. I'm sure there are plenty more that he has now in LA where he lives, uh, sat in his car collection, but it's very hard to find any videos of it. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we've got on LeBron James. If you guys have any more information, please share in the comments down below. Remember to put in the comments also a celebrity you'd like to see us cover in the future. And we'll be back with another one of these videos next next week. Thanks for watching guys. Congrats to LeBron on the cool uh, car collection. Not that he's ever going to see this video and we look forward to potentially seeing it grow in the future. Cheers. Bye bye.